is up my <laughs> goofy goobers my name is adam from adam's trail notes and welcome to a editing video my first editing video actually and you know you can trust me because i won at the fair which means i'm legit of course and basically we're going to be editing in lightroom so lightroom is an adobe software app kind of like photoshop except it's not photoshop don't worry it's not photoshop yet not yet. It's not going to transform into Photoshop like a weird villain movie. No. Photoshop is a separate other app, but it is also from Adobe. That's probably where you've heard of Adobe. Photoshop, it's like a scary monster kind of in there. I'm going to teach you all about that in a whole another video. But today we're going to be in Lightroom. In Lightroom, it's a safe place. It's a safe place to learn about editing. That was my dog, if you heard that. So we're going to be editing in Lightroom, and we're going to be editing this image. should show right here. Bam. And we're going to be editing in Lightroom Classic CC, which is the desktop version of Lightroom. That's my favorite version. You could use the mobile version. Mm, no. I like the uh, desktop version of Lightroom right here. Bam. Okay. And I still use it to this day. I've been using it for about four years. That's not full. This is four. I've been using it for about four years, and it's a great tool to edit your photos do all that fun stuff with. So I'm gonna take you through, edit an image. But before we even start editing, let's grab our trail mix here. Now, this is clearly not trail mix. I know that, I hope you know that, and I really hope that you know that I know that. So the point of this is, my friend made a joke that said, Adam's trail notes, it should have been Adam's trail mix. <laughs> That's a funny one. But we're gonna have trail, mo trail mix. <clears throat> we're gonna have trail mix, except I don't have trail mix in my house right now. So, we're going to pretend this is trail mix without the raisins. I don't like raisins. We're going to have nuts and M&Ms in the trail mix. Because Adam's trail mix and Adam's trail notes, they mix together. You see what I did there? I hope you did. All right, we're going to jump into Lightroom here. And bam. So, in Lightroom, you would go into Import Settings. Boom. And then, uh, on the left side, you can see that it looks just like your libraries on your uh, computer. So you'd find your photo or your photo sets. Uh, let's pretend like I was going here. If it loads, maybe not. Okay. And bam. So we'd import all these. We'd check all these if you want them checked. Blah, blah, blah. And we'd import. Okay, so you imported photos. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Now, we're going to edit our photos. Now, I chose this photo. Boom, boom, boom. And you can enlarge it. Actually, I'm going to back up real quick. You got all your photos in here. There are two places to see your photos. You can see them in the top section, a beautiful top section, which you can enlarge the thumbnails. Oh, wow. Or you can see it in this very fancy bottom scroll bar. Look at this. Look at how fancy that is. Okay, so we're going to choose our photo. In this photo, bam, I can enlarge it, look at it, just like this, bam. This photo was taken in Imperial Sand Dunes, California. Now, if that sounds familiar to any of my Star Wars fans, it's because it was where one of the Star Wars films was filmed. I don't know which one. I'm going to put it up here if I'm not too lazy to do it in po if I'm not too not lazy to do it in post in not here so in editing I'm going to put the title of the Star Wars film. Anyway, it was the desert scene Star Wars film. So, we were there actually filming another Star Wars film that I think is coming out soon. Keep you updated on that. But um, this was just after sunrise. My friend, picture of my friend, he was looking for his phone. It was a uh, yeah, he was looking for his phone. Plot twist. He never found it. Tragic story. So, he was standing on the hill, and I was like, hey, buddy, stay right there. I'm going to take a picture. So I took a picture, looked at it. I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. And now we're editing it because I think it looks cool. I think it would be beneficial for you guys. So I hope it looks cool to you guys, too. Yeah. All right. This is, these are the modules, and we're in the library module right now. It's kind of like a library. You see all the photos or the books. So we see all the photos here because Lightroom is also like an organizer for your photos and not just an editor. So you see all the photos, we click this one, and we're going to go to the develop module. The develop module is where all of the edits are made, it is where all the sliders are, the fancy little tips and tricks are. So we're going to click there, bam. Alright, whoa, we're here, we're going to edit this photo, let's get into it. So the first thing I do is I scroll down, you see all of these little tabs, boom, 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 and we're going to go all the way down to here. And you can close these tabs if you want, blah, blah. So we're going to first hit remove chromatic operations and enable profile corrections. Now, sometimes your lens or the side of the lens darkens the image or the frame, and we want to brighten that up. So what Lightroom does is it knows usually what lens you're using, and it will brighten that up. It will get rid of the vignetting, and it's really nice. For this one, it didn't do it. I was using a Nikon zoom lens, I think. Where are you, Nikon? There you are. So I clicked that. That was not the lens I'm using. Sometimes it gets it wrong, but let's see if it looks better or not. 
and I think it does. You can see on the edges it brightens up just a little bit. So we're gonna keep it just like that. And now we're gonna scroll all the way back up to the basic tab. So the basic tab is where most of the very basic edits are, but they can also be very powerful edits, okay? So we have temperature, tint, exposure, contrast, all of these, you can read them, okay. So we're gonna mess around with exposure. Now, exposure is the brightness of the image. And I think this image can go a little bit, you know, so then, nope, nope, that's too much, too much. Oh, just a little bit there. Contrast, it's a little punchy look. I like the punchy look, especially in the desert. Highlights, highlights are pretty good. I might, mm, might brighten it a little bit. Shadows, just maybe a little bit. I don't wanna brighten this dark area up too much. And then for whites, uh, a trick for whites is if you hold down Alt on Windows or Option on Mac, it goes black and then you can scroll. And usually when you start to see a color or a light just like that, that's usually when the white should be good. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. For this photo, it does not, it looks horrible, oh my gosh. So we're just gonna manually drag that, boom. For blacks, you do the same thing. Drag this way until color shows up and that's usually a good place to stop. So about right there and that looks okay. Texture, we can bump the texture up just a little in the sand dunes. Zoom in if you really want to see what it's doing. I think that looks good about there. Clarity, basically just does the same thing. It adds a more punchy look and more clarity. I don't even know if that's another verb. To the whole image, I usually try and keep texture and clarity about in the 20s or it starts to look too fake, at least for my personal preference. So dehaze also just gives a little more dehaze. It's more like a harsh contrast slider, I like to describe it as. I don't think we need that much dehaze. I think dehaze is fine. If you double click this, another trick, it resets to zero. So you could be all the way out here. Double click, resets to zero. Perfect. For vibrance, vibrance just targets the more neutral colors. So we're going to very slightly drag this. I don't even know if this photo needs saturation. Saturation just bumps every color up. Ugh. Um, we don't need that. It's already pretty good. All right. So in a way to see the before and after really quickly, you can look at the backslash key. Press it. Bam. Boom. Bam. Boom, done, haha. <laughs> We're not done with the image, just done with the backslash key. Okay, uh, temperature is making the image warmer or warmer, gosh, or cooler. And usually I like to do it for the type of feeling I was when I was there. And it's the desert, duh, it was sandy, it was golden hour. For sunrise, it's a nice warm feel. So I'm gonna keep it at that warmer tone, warmer side. And I like the purplish a little more. I don't really like the green tint, so I'm gonna keep it at green. I mean, sorry, a purple, around 21, that's for tint. And we're gonna slide down here. Now the curves, uh, the tone curve is basically an advanced contrast slider. So you can really have really good control with this. You can just drag all the way up, ooh, ba -da -ba -ba, like that. You can bring the highlights, play with all that. That's way too punchy. Oh, there's the highlights. And if you right click, you wanna reset. I'm just gonna flatten the curve because I don't really like all that. Now we get into the fun stuff, which is the selective edits. Now selective edits can very much make or break the photo that you're editing. So for this, you see a lot of oranges in here. So if I wanted to boost the saturation for the oranges, bam, I can desaturate or boost them. I'm gonna keep them about the same. I don't really like them that saturated because then it starts to look a little fake. Um, if I wanted to get rid of this in the green in the sky, cause it's like a little up there, I can get rid of that. If I wanted to get the blue, maybe a little there, just kind of mess around, see what colors are in your image and see if you want to adjust them at all. You can also do that for the hue and the luminance of each color, so you can play around with all that. We're gonna scroll all the way down to this kind of hidden area, which is called calibration. Don't really know why it's called that, but it has some more color, selective color options, and I like to do this very selectively. So I basically take this, and I just drag it from each side and see which kind of shade I want to go more toward. So I want this more red and pink area, so this looks good, and then I bring it back to maybe like plus five. And I do that for each one. So don't really like that effect. I kind of like this one effect a little more. So I'm gonna bring it down to like plus three and see which effect. Boom, boom, boom. That looks, uh, looks good. And again, when we do before and after, these changes right here are barely gonna be noticed, but it's always the selective edits that make the image just a little nicer. So you gotta appreciate those. Keep dragging, boom, boom, boom. That looks good. All right, and I think it's this side. And again, I'm just dragging and seeing which colors I like more in the photo and very selective. And if you want to just see what each tab does, you can click this right here. It's kind of like a, I don't know what that looks like. Um, but you click it and you can kind of see before and after. And if you zoom in, maybe you can see just a little bit of a difference. And I kind of like it. It just changes the sand dune uh, hue color of it just a little. 
which is pretty nice. Boom, boom, boom. I think we're done here. Oh, one more thing. I want to crop. So I have my crop tool. Sorry, up right here. And let's say we want to post this on Instagram. Now, Instagram is a four by five crop ratio. So if you go to here, original, you can click four by five. Bam. And now it's going to bring it to a four by five. Now, I still don't want all this sky. It's kind of boring up here. There's really not that many clouds up here. So we're just going to drag down and you see that it locks it. So it'll keep that four by five ratio, which is really nice. So I can crop it, bam, bam. I want him in the center of the frame, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. That looks pretty good. And maybe just drag it a little. That looks good. All right, bam. And a way to view before and after again is backslash key. So boom, boom. So we just add a little punchier look to it. I like it. So I think we're done with this edit pretty fast. Um, for some of you, it might be a little slower if you want to really go through all the settings and learn. I highly recommend doing that. Um, with editing especially, you're probably going to spend hours and hours learning how to edit with tons of your amazing photos that you took. So a great way to do it is just experiment. That's how I learned with a lot of um, editing besides, you know, watching my great videos. Um, so we're going to go back into the library module once we're done. And I like to set it to a five star. That means that it's fully edited. I'm ready to export it. And if you press F on your keyboard, you can full screen it so you can really see it. And it goes against a nice black background so you can really, it pops. So press F again to get out of that and we're ready to export. So we're gonna export right here. Bam, that export button. Uh, choose a specific folder. I recommend exporting to a hard drive. So you can maybe put an editing tab or an editing folder for there. And you can choose, uh, put in a subfolder, all that stuff. File name, I keep it at the file name. You, you can name the picture a custom name if you want to. Um, it's fine right now. And for ease, of, for, what's it called? For ease, I'm just gonna put this in the desktop folder. Click that, select folder. And then all you do is, oh, also JPEG, and then sRGB, that's good settings. And then, bam, export. And it's gonna load up here. Export one five, ba da da. And we're done, so we're gonna la da da. Oh, it's me, whoa. And then, oh, it's right here, bam, look at that image. So, click on it, and it is right there. It is on your desktop, on your computer, ready to share with your friends and family, and that is what I hope you do with this video. Please, like and subscribe, comment, tell me what you wanna see more of. Tutorial videos, vlogs, uh, photography tutorials out in the field. Please let me know. Um, I like making these videos, and it's a fun way to teach you guys how to do photography. So stay safe, have fun, and keep photographing. Okay, um, oh my god, a bird hit the window.